Welcome back, guys. It's good to see all of you again. Or talk to my camera and then have you guys watch this again. Um, a quick shout out to Miss Lainey Bent for the idea of this case because without her, I would not have this case and I would not have a very interesting story to tell you guys. So let's hop into it. So Kay's, Kaylee Anthony was a young girl who lived in Florida who went missing on July 15th, was reported missing on July 15th by her grandmother, Cindy. I will get into that more later. She was almost three at the time of her death. She was born on August 9th, 2005, and died sometime, but sometime in 2008. Her body was not found until December, but again, more on that later. Um, so, a little background about Kay Kaylee. She lived with her mother, Casey. So, if I mix those names up, I'm sorry. They're both very similar. Her grand And then her maternal grandfather, George, and her maternal grandmother, Cindy, who was the one who reported her missing. Um, so, my research starts on July 15th. She was reported... She was reported missing in a 911 call made by her grandmother, Cindy, who said she had not seen her granddaughter in 31 days. And also claimed that her daughter's car smelled like there had been a dead body inside of it. Cindy told the operator that Casey had been giving varied explanations as to where Kaylee was, before finally telling her that she had not seen Kaylee for weeks, which is kind of alarming in itself. Um, according to George Anthony, Casey left the family home on June 16th, 2008, taking her daughter Kaylee, who was about almost three years old at this time, with her, and did not return for 31 days. Casey's mother, Cindy, asked repeatedly to see her three-year-old granddaughter throughout this time period, but Casey claimed she was always too busy or that Kaylee was with a nanny, or that they were at amusement parks or at the beach. Um, her nanny's name is Zendaya, Zendaya Zanny Fernandez Gonzalez, and we will get into that in a second. But eventually it was determined that a woman, woman by this name did exist, but had never met Casey, Kaylee, or any other member of the Anthony family, nor any Casey or any of Casey's friends. On June fifteenth, on July fifteenth, uh, George Anthony learned that his daughter's car was in a tow yard, so he went to go recover it. He and the yard attendant noted a strong smell coming from the trunk of the car, which they both later claimed smelled like a dead body. When the trunk was opened. It was just discovered that it was a bag of trash. And this is also the day that Cindy reported Kaylee missing to the Orange County Sheriff's Office. During this telephone call, Casey confirmed that Kaylee had been missing for 31 days. And Cindy, who sounded very distraught, according to reports, said, There is something wrong. I found my daughter's car today. And it smells like there's been a, there's, it smells like there's been a dead body in the damn car. When questioned, Casey had claimed that Kaylee had been kidnapped by Zendaya Fernandez Gonzalez, who she identified as Zanny, who was Kaylee's nanny. Although Casey had talked about her, Zanny had never been seen by the Anthony family or any of her friends. And, fact, there was no nanny. Casey also told police that she had been working at Universal Studios, a lie she had been telling her parents for years. Investigators brought Casey to Universal Studios on July 16, 2008, the day after Kaylee was reported missing, asking her to show them to her office. For a while, Kay Casey just walked around, showing them around, before she admitted she had been fired years before. So, little pause here. So now, the nanny is fake. This woman actually did exist. 
but was no way there was no relation between this family and this woman. And second, she was basically lying about her employment, not only to her parents, but to the police officers. Which will come in handy later, because you'll see why. Moving on. On October 14th, Casey Anthony was indicted by a grand jury on charges of first-degree murder, aggravated child abuse, aggravated manslaughter of a child, and four counts of providing false information to the police. He was later arrested. On October 21st, the charges of child neglect were dropped, according to the state attorney's office, because as evidence proved the child was deceased, the state and sought an indictment on the legally appropriate charges. On October 28th, Anthony was arranged and pleaded not guilty to all charges. But at this time, Kaylee's body hadn't even been discovered yet, because her body would not be discovered until December 11th. Two-year-old Kaylee's remains were found with a blanket inside a trash bag in a wooded area near the Anthony's home. Anthony family home. Um, so, investigative reports and trial testimony from later on varied between the duct tape duct tape being found near the front of the skull and on the mouth of the skull. The medical examiner mentioned duct tape as one of the reasons she ruled the death a homicide, but officially listed the death as death by undetermined means. So what I take that as is they really couldn't figure out what the official cause of death was, but decided to list it as a homicide. Um, her trial on, um, on April 13th, prosecutors announced that they planned to seek the death penalty in the case. Um, her trial lasted about six weeks from May to July 11. Again, as I just said, the prosecutor Prosecution sought the death penalty and alleged that Casey wished, wished to be free to free herself of parental responsibilities and murdered her daughter. The defense team countered that the child had accidentally drowned in the family swimming pool on June 16, 2008, and that George Anthony, who was the grandfather, disposed of the body. The defense contended that Casey lied about this and other issues because of a dysfunctional upbringing which they said included sexual abuse by her father. The defense did not present evidence to how Kaylee died, nor did nor evidence that Casey was sexually abused as a child, but they ended up challenging every piece of prosec the prosecution's evidence, calling much of it forensic fantasies. Fantasy forensics. And Casey did not testify at all. Um, so we're going to jump forward a little bit to July 11th or July 5th, 2011, where the jury found her not guilty of first-degree murder, aggravated child abuse, and aggravated manslaughter of a child, but guilty of the four misdemeanor counts of providing false information to a law enforcement officer. Um, this not guilty verdict caused a lot of public outrage and was both attacked and defended by the media and legal commenta commentators. Some people complained that the jury misunderstood the meaning of reasonable doubt, while others said they relied too heavily on the defendant's alleged poor moral character because they had been able to show conclusively how the victim had died. Time Magazine actually described this as the social media trial of the century. So, um, in the end, they found her not guilty. Uh, there were, but there was later information that came out in November came out in November 2012, a television uh, station in Orlando reported that police had never investigated the Firefox browser evidence on Casey's computer, but they only looked at the Internet Explorer evidence. The browser's history showed that somebody at the Anthony household using a password-protected account that Casey used did a Firefox Google shirt search for foolproof suffocation at 2.51 p.m. and then clicked on an article criticizing pro-suicide websites promoting foolproof ways to die, including the idea of committing suicide by taking poison 
and putting a plastic bag over one's head. The browser then recorded activity on MySpace, a site used by Casey but not George. The station learned about this information from Casey's attorney, Jose Baez, who mentioned it in his book on the case, speculating that George had contemplated suicide after Kaylee's death. He conceded to reporters that the records are open to interpretation. However, he speculated the state have may not have chosen to introduce the church, the search at the trial, because according to Baez, the com computer records can tend, can tend to refute the timeline stated by George, which was that Casey left at 12.50 p.m. A analyst by John Gohez, who was a retired engineer and computer expert, revealed that her password-protected computer account shows activity on the home computer at 1.39 p.m., with activity on her AIM account as well as MySpace and Facebook, which I just said was used by um, Casey, but not George. In April 2016, transcripts of two affidavits of a private investigator, Dominic Casey, were filed on the court docket of the matter of Kronk v. Anthony and picked up by news services in May 2016. In one affidavit, Casey stated that on July 26, 2008, Baez admitted to him that Casey Anthony had murdered Kaylee Anthony and dumped the body somewhere and he needed all the help he could to find the body before anyone else did. He also claimed at this time that Baez had a sexual relationship with Anthony, and that Casey told me she had to do what Jose said because he had no, she had no money for her defense. Baez has denied a sexual relationship. As I did my research, I found that people were considering reopening this case. But sadly, this case cannot be opened, reopened due to double jeopardy. Double, de double jeopardy is where you cannot try someone else. You can't try someone for the same crime twice. Unless you do it like in federal court or something. But they decided not to do that. So here's my opinion. I think that Casey Anthony murdered her daughter. Plain and simple. Why else would she lie to police? Why else would she lie to her own parents? Unless she knew that Kaylee was already dead at this time. It's plain, it's plain and simple to me that Casey murdered Kaylee. I don't know why. I don't know how. But with all of the research that I've done, I think that she murdered her via suffocation. Taped her mouth shut put a plastic bag or something over her head, or even the blanket that was found in her body, with her body, and suffocated her, and then dumped the body, and then continued to lie to everyone about it. So that's my opinion. That's the case of Kaylee Anthony. Anyway, I will see you guys later. I will have a new video up in a couple of days. I love you all. Bye!